No, here we are. <clears throat> it is Friday and we are on the millionaire training, the golden principles that created the top network marketers of today. I'm so happy to have you here with me. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Tammy Todd and I'm here in Huntington Beach and I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful for you for being here with me. I'm so grateful for this amazing life that we are choosing to live, right? We get to make the decisions to live this life that we can imagine. If we can imagine it, we can create it. it. It takes time and effort, obviously. You have to take those steps every day towards that vision, towards that dream. So I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for Mary Morrissey for planting that whole idea in my head. Up until that point, I had no idea that you can actually change the way you look at things. <laughs> Like it was just, it's just been an incredible journey for me. So I'm so grateful that you're here with me. And I'm so grateful that you're having a similar kind of experience with this training. So, um, so today I, my goals are to do my daily DMOs, um, to create some content for um, one of my potential um, downlines um, to um, there's just so many pieces I've got going on because there's, there's been I've been, there's just been a lot going on. So anyway, I'm continuing to do all of the things that's necessary to make all of my dreams come true. So I'm taking the steps, I'm creating lists and I'm checking off those lists, right? So I hope you're doing the same. So let's go ahead and do our morning meditation. So take a deep breath a deep breath of life. The Talmud says every blade of grass has an angel leaning over it, whispering, grow, grow, grow. That blade of grass will press through cement, seeking the light. And that same pull of becoming is on and in you. It is the spiral pull of becoming that is everywhere present in the universe, for the universe itself is ever seeking fuller, freer, expanded life. And you are part of this wondrous spiral of becoming. Your very DNA is a spiral. And you feel that pull to the more. Learning to work in concert and cooperation with the great laws of the universe. Open doors of possibilities that prior would have seemed completely impossible and only for the few, not you. But now, through your interest, your study, and your willingness, you're beginning to understand that not only is dream building your right, but your responsibility. For you have come here to give the gift of you, without which the fabric of creation is incomplete. For you did not create you. You can't even breathe you. You're being breathed by the great spirit of life itself, and something wonderful is happening with you right now. It is this thing called life. You've been given a mind and a body, emotions and spirit. You are spirit having a human experience, using the mind and body and emotions as your expressing field for what you ultimately will choose as the demonstration of the life you know. So in this sacred moment, Activate the faculties you have and know this, you are an image maker, made in the image and after the likeness of the one who gives you life, your mind thinks in pictures. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know why sometimes that does that, but <laughs> it's a new thing because it wasn't doing it before, so I don't know what what Facebook changed. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We are on page 106. And I think I'm going to go ahead. I know I've been only reading one chapter a day, but the way that it's been working out, 
Um, there's only a few pages to the next two chapters, and then we start all over again. So I'm, if I have time, I'm going to go ahead and finish. So the major, the five major ingredients to turn your life around, apply them at the same time for predictable results. All of us are here today. We came here today to turn our lives in, in a new direction. We're not here for anything else. You remember that deal about lying to yourself? Tell yourself while you're, <clears throat> while you're here today, there could be a lot of other places that you could be besides spending four hours at the Bonaventure Hotel with us. You could be any place you wanted to be. You're here today because you want to turn your life, your life to be turned in a new direction. There are some ingredients that have to take place. There's five ingredients, and I'm going to share them here with you, that go into the day that turns your life around. These ingredients have to be in 24-hour period, 24 days per month, 24 months. But there are some ingredients, five major ingredients that goes into turning your life around. The first ingredient is disgust. You know what disgust means, right? Disgust means you don't like it. It, it like it as is. Disgust means that you've had it up to here. You're not putting up with it anymore. No more will you live with like it with it like it like this. See, a person could have it with with embarrassment of not being able to pay their bills on time. They say, "I've had it. No more." A person could say, "I've had it with giving a dollar when they always want me to give more." A person could have had it with a sick feeling when a man knows that his wife is down at the store shopping and she looks at, at beans, two cans of beans, one mark 37 cents and one mark 39 cents. And he's sick inside knowing his wife is going to choose the 37 cent can of beans. And she doesn't even like the brand. You know why? To save two cents. And the man says, I'm not living like this anymore. I've had it. No more are you going to see me on my knees in the dust looking for pennies. I'm going to do something about it. When you can, when you see a man could have it with meteor. When you see a man could have it with meteorocracy, he could have it with not being some kind of winner. He could have had it with not having a challenge. He could have had lack of excitement, love, and caring. But when a person says, "I've had it," I'm telling you, look out. That could be the day. We've all go. We all go through that. The second ingredient is decision. You have to know what you want. Almost everybody in my life that I've ever met can tell me what they don't want but almost no one in my life I've ever met can tell me what they do want. Most people spend more time planning a three week, a three week vacation every year than they do planning their future. You've got to find out what you do want. And I'll tell you this about decision. It's not easy. Decision is not easy. Winston Churchill called it the agony of decision. You don't want the agony of decision, that sick nausea feeling. You got to, you get cold sweat, sweat pops on your forehead. You're lying in bed at night. It's the midnight hour, but you've got to decide. I'll tell you what I found out in my life, that generally making a decision is the hardest part. The hardest part of almost anything I've ever done is the decision. If a person could just wade through the heavy waters of decision, they could climb the mountain almost every single time. The third ingredient is desire. You have to want to. This whole book has been about these five ingredients. You have to want to. You've got to develop your want to. I wish someone had desire for sale. I do. I wish that we could package it in little bottles because if we could package desire and you could take a couple of tablets and they would increase your desire every day, watch the wheels come off. Here's what I do know. I would tell you to go home and liquidate all your assets and come back and buy every bottle of desire your money will purchase. Every, buy every bottle of desire because that's where it starts. I'll tell you this about desire. It comes from deep within you. You can't clip it out of a... You can't clip a coupon in the magazine and send for it. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't, it's, it cannot be stowed upon you by some benevolent um, magistrate someplace. You've got to develop it. Your desire can be cultivated. It can be cultivated by meeting, by meeting like this today. It can be cultivated by getting involved with a group of people. It can be prayed for. A lot of times it comes from books that I've read, people that I've met, my family. The only thing I'm sharing with you here is every single day, add more weight to, to your want and ask for it, search for it. The fourth ingredient is action. Decision can turn you in a new direction. It's action that takes you in that new direction. I'm going to give you a word to go with action, massive. It's called massive action. Take all out massive action. Don't be like the, the distributor who says, okay, I'll pass out a few brochures. 
and he'll always be broke. Don't be like the one who said, okay, I'll take a few, I'll, I'll make a few contacts. Listen, you can guess their bank account or like the girl who says, all right, I'll try a sales party and see what happens. Listen, that's not success. That's not how you st- keep from starving to death. If you're going to take action, take enough action, massive action, so the community won't have to pity you from your family, <laughs> won't have pity upon your family. You know, do something that's all out and massive. Real substantial success comes from all out massive action. The fifth ingredient is resolve. Resolve simply means I'll do it. Resolve means I'll be there. Resolve means you can count on me. Resolve means this. You can pick out your mountain in life, whatever the mountain is, whatever mountain that is, and you can say, I'm going to the top. And you do that. And there's going to be people that tell you, you can't climb mountains. You don't have any experience. And you say, I'm going to the top. Someone else will say, come on, choose another mountain. That's too rocky. And you say, I'm going to the top. Someone else will say, come on, not that one. That's too slippery. And you say, I'm going to the top. See, there's something about when someone makes that kind of commitment to themselves. There's something about it that does, that does it. You see, I remember the things in my life that I took a wishy-washy way of of attitude. I remember when my daughter used to come to me and say, listen, dad, can we go on a picnic this weekend? And my answer would be sure, but nothing would happen. I couldn't understand what, when she went away, she wasn't happy. Kids are smart. They know, they know the slightest little thing. She knew that if the wind blew that weekend, we weren't going. If someone got a headache, we weren't going. She now she would come to me and ask again. And the answer would be either yes or no. She was just as happy with the no as she was the yes. Yes, just as happy. Why? Because either way, the result was going to be the same. We were not going to go on the picnic. I had no resolve to do that. So you've got to practice a little resolve every day, whatever it is. You're climbing that mountain. You've got to have the do or die attitude. That is just what you've got to do. Someone tells you, you can't go up. It's too rocky, too steep, too slippery. You say, listen here, I'm going up. You're either going to see me waving from the top or dead on the side. I'm not coming back. Now that's called heavy resolve. There's something about the do or die attitude. It's almost like if someone has to do it or they'll die. It's almost like like time, faith, and circumstance have come together and have hastily, a hasty conference. And they say, listen, John, John says he's going to do it or do it or die. Well, we might as well let him have it. Resolve moves providence. You've got to be willing to practice the little resolves or it will be the big ones that you will find hiding in the closet every single time. It's so, so true. You know, we all go through that this in our lives about, um, about making the decision and taking steps. Once we make the decision, the decision is the hardest part and taking action every single day. Because you're every day, you basically have to make that decision. Do I really want to do this? Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top of that mountain. Every day, you have to decide if you're going to continue the climb, right? And if you stop the climb, then you're never going to get to that resolve that you really, really want. So keep going. Keep climbing that mountain. You will make it. You know, it just takes time. It takes consistency and perseverance, and you will get there. So now on to you are enough, demand the best of you. What we've been talking about here today is getting favorable results in our lives. Those favorable results come from right inside here, right inside here. That's where they come from. You don't have to have any special talents, any special energy, any any special anything. You've got enough, everything you need to know. I want all of us to know something. We've been selected for this here, it's Herbalife, but whatever company you're with, I'm with ASEA. So we've all been selected for this team, whatever company you're with, their team. We have, there's always success stories before and after, and there's going to be a time in the next two, three, five, seven, 10 years. I don't know how long it's going to take when, when Herbalife is the finest company of its kind. So when your company is the finest company of its kind, if it sticks with it and will be written up in magazines and over here, it's going to be the before and after pictures. Someone is going to be reading and say, What a wonderful success story. Look at that. A school teacher did that. Look at that. A construction worker did that. A homemaker did that. Look at that. A doctor. Listen, look at them now. Isn't that something? How how come I never found those those about those opportunities? They might, and they might be walking by the hallway right now, this minute, and never find out about Herbalife. Things don't just happen, things happen just. And you're here today 
for a reason. And you need to pay attention to that reason. And we've all been selected for it. I want you to know right now that you've got enough ability right in your entire being to make this thing work for you this right this second. You've got enough to make it work. The difference is going to be in the little things that you do. See, I'm a sports, I'm a big sports fan. I really like football too. Let's talk about spring training. The rookies always camp check into camp before the veterans. They have to work their work there first. You know the difference between the first year rookie and the 10-year veteran? They both have the fundamentals of the game the same. And that's what I'm trying to share with you. Get you've got to get the fundamentals right now to make it work. The difference between the veteran and the rookie is that the, the veteran becomes the veteran because they do a little bit more. They become a little bit better every single day, every day. It's done in inches, not in yards. It's done in inches. And that's the little bit extra excitement that you're going to have to muster up and that little bit extra attitude control that you're going to have to have and that little bit extra sincerity, a little bit extra faith and a little bit extra fun, right? So you have to live up to your best. You have to demand the best of you. If you don't, if you can't demand the best of you, then you need to take a real strong look at everything that you're going, that you're doing, no matter what it is. Joseph Kennedy had a sign on his desk. And when he heard about this, it really helped me out because I was always real tough on myself. Do you know what the sign said? It said, once you've done your best, the hell with the, the hell with it. And that's all it says. That's all I'm saying to you today. I want you to learn to be strong in your life, all areas of life. I want you to learn to be strong, but I also want you to learn to develop your strength without being rude. Become strong, but don't become rude. I want you to learn to win in life, win in everything, win the conversation game, win everything, but learn to win without pressure. I want you to learn how to be bold, learn how to be bold without being bull, becoming a bully. I'd like to see you learn how to develop your pride in everything that you do. Have pride in it, but develop pride with without arrogance, pride without arrogance. I'd like for you to learn how to be thoughtful about the things, about all things and everybody and about yourself. Learn to become thoughtful without becoming lazy. I'd also like for you to learn to develop your humility, become humble minus timidity, timidity, <laughs> become humble, but don't become timid. I'd like for you to learn to become kind, kind to everything and everybody, especially to yourself but develop kindness without weakness, become kind without becoming weak. I'd like for you to learn how to become gentle, become gentle without becoming soft. I'd like you to learn how to make new commitments every single day to your faith, to your family, to your friends, and to your future. I'd like to see you learn how to be willing to sacrifice the small things in life, the things that are truly important. Helen Keller said something once that, and it really stuck, stuck with me. I'm going to close today with it because I think it's something what it means, I think it's, it kind of says what it means to me. What she said was, sometimes the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or heard. They can only be felt in the heart. And that's how I feel about this afternoon. I wish you good luck, all good luck, and thank you very much. So that's the end of this part of the book. And then we're going to go back and start on, um, when we start again on Monday, we're going to start with the long haired construction worker again. We're not going to be, I'm not sharing the stories and I'm not sharing all, all of that again. So, um, but before we do, you know, I want to, I want to share, I really, 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 this has been such an incredible journey for me doing this, this book study with you guys. It helps me every day. I have committed to doing this. I know yesterday I wasn't here because of, um, because of another commitment, but that's really, honestly, I think the first time that I didn't already have planned to take the day off. And I was working, I did do work. And there's times when you just need to figure out and be um, diligent and honest and honor yourself, right? So when we start again next time, I'm going to, um, I'm going to continue doing it mostly. I'm going to do most of the chapters one at a time, but I, there's a couple of them I will lump together because um, I just think it makes sense. But I want you to know you are enough right where you are. You have everything you need already. Once you have that desire, once you can consistently get into this, if you can look at look every day, if you if you know what that thing is that you want and why you want this, to, why you want to be successful, it makes it easier to take those steps to climb that mountain. To look, you know, you don't even have to look all the way to the top, but look high enough up that you can take those steps, and then. 
once you look up to figure out where you're going to make it that day, you need to look down. You need to look, watch where you're walking. Make sure that you're not going to crumble. Make sure that you're not going to do things that's going to make you fall off course, right? Make sure that that you're not going to twist your ankle or you're going to fall into a shrub, right? So take the steps, pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure that you're doing everything consistently and you're staying kind and you're being true. You're loving people where they are and you're loving yourself right where you are, right? We all go through this. We're all starting somewhere. We all have to start at the bottom. None of us starts at the top. None of us, you know, babies aren't born to be, there's a few of them, but, but most people aren't born to be a success in social media or in, in anything in, in communicating and all of that, you know, we all are born a little bit timid. So we have to overcome that and come out of our shell and find what works for us. What works for you might not work for me. And what works for me won't, may not work for you. Not everybody wants to do things the way that I want to do things. You need to find your way to do whatever it is that you do and express yourself in a way that make that it's easy for you to share, right? But stick with some of the basics so that you can share it and it's duplicatable. You know, this, when you're on social media, that is a personality element. There's a personality element on social media, right? But the basics are always the basics. So when we can get back to the basics, and if you don't want to be on social media, don't be on social media, go share and talk to people in person every day, right? So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. It was a short one, even though we did two um, things. And just know, I believe in you. I know that you are right where you need to be, or you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have said yes to the opportunity in the first place. There was something in you that you wanted to change, that you want to make your life better. We all want to make our lives better. We all want this, whatever that is for you. I know what I want and I know what some of you want and we just need to keep working. My goal is to help women, to help people get, get out of debt, to live a better life, to feel better, to, to look better longer, right? To, to have that, that vibrancy and that energy and just to live in this state of bliss most of the time. I mean, I, I, I'd be lying if I said that you can do it all the time because you can't. That's not, that's not human. That's not normal. We're not God, right? But to live in the bliss as often as possible and to really step into that person that you're becoming, it makes it so much easier. And do we have bad days? Absolutely. We all have those tough days, especially early on. But it doesn't mean that once we become successful in the company that we're with, that we're going to always have great days. We make the best of it. We put on that face. You know, there's days that we struggle, but we still show up and we still give our best no matter what. So go talk to people today, go out there. And I hope that I've inspired you to get, because I'm telling you, there is no other platform. There's no other um, profession that is better than this. You just have to figure out how to make it work for you. That's what we're all doing here is we're figuring out how to make it work for each and every one of us. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Monday.